Okay, Baze, go ahead. No, you say it. No, you say it. Baze, like. Hi, welcome back to the Learning Preserve. Today, we're gonna share with you a fun activity that will help your child build number sense. Okay, so today's activity is going to be pasta math. And pasta math has been around forever and there's so many ways to do it. You can have the kids use the pasta in addition or patterns or so many other ways. But today we're gonna to be using pasta to make predictions or estimates. So it's really important for kids to make that connection between what they know and what they don't know. So we are going to start with Counting. A scoop of pasta, okay? So the first thing we have, um, we have a little strainer. We have a spoon. I, I don't know what we're gonna use that for, but it looked like a good prop when we brought it out here. We have a plate to count on. We have a bowl of pasta. And I made this cute little prediction sheet and I will link that up as a free download in the description box. And so we are gonna go ahead and get started. And, and what you do is you just scoop up some pasta and then you have the kids look at it and make a prediction about how many pasta pieces do you think are in this? You're home? Oh. The other kids are home. <laughs> We thought we had at least 30 minutes before they showed back up. Took too long to get ready. <laughs> okay, hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we are ready to go. So this is the same concept as like the jelly beans in a jar or the pom-poms in a jar, getting kids to look at the quantity and kind of understand how many there are and make that estimate. And so this is the same, the same kind of idea. All right, Paige. How many do you think this is? 100. 100? That's a lot. Okay, well, let's see if you're right. Wait, I have to count to 100. One fifty one, that's close. That is close, Pays. Good job. You wanna do another one? Sure. Okay, dump that pasta back into the bowl. Okay, Paisley, so you've already scooped out your next amount of pasta. What is your guess on this amount of pasta? One hundred. One hundred. Okay. Your last guess was a hundred. So you're guessing a hundred again? Yeah. Okay, why are you guessing 100 again? Because it's less. Because you scooped out less this time? Yeah. Okay, that is a really good guess. That is your brain reasoning with you, right? Your brain is saying, last time I guessed 100 and it was actually 151. So if you take a lesser amount this time, you might actually get to that hundred. So that is a really good prediction, Paisley. Okay. Good job, okay? So let's start counting again, okay? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ninety. Eight, Ninety. <laughs> Ninety-one. Ninety-two. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. Paisley. 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107. Paisley, you guessed what? 100. 100. You just counted 107. Paisley. That is so incredibly close. Yeah. Like you're ready to go to the state fair. Like go to the state fair and guess how many, what? Pasta. 
cotton candies? <laughs> I guess any game that they have set up on guessing, you would totally win. Great job, Paisley. Okay, so, oh, you didn't fill in your sheet on your guess. So write in 100 on your prediction side. No, on the other side, Paisley. My guess is 50. Um, okay, let me see how many. Okay, 50. So go ahead and write that on your sheet. Okay, so your guess is 50 pieces of pasta. All right, let's get counted. One, three. Now put it in the little bowl. Six, seven, eight, nine, forty-three, forty-four, five, six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Um, Paisley, you are almost too good at this. This is how much I have left. Okay, so we're at fifty. Four more left. And I go. Paisley, once again, you are within a small amount of noodles. Yeah. I put those ones back. Um, you can't put them back. It was four. It was four. Okay, so oh. you guessed 50. And it was 54. And it was 54. Once again, Paisley. So... So close. Okay. 50. Done. Okay. Do you want to do another one or are you done? I think I'm done. You want to go run wild with your siblings? Yep. So if you liked today's lesson and you were impressed by Paisley's math skills, go ahead and click that subscribe button.